zoom out on all the charts, right? Quadruple in the U.S. market in the last 10 years. So if we zoom out, we'll get better context of really how we should base our feelings. But things we can do, things we can do. If you're feeling nervous, how about raising cash? Liquidity is the best blanket that I know. But where to do you up. raise that cash from? So sure. it, should you be selling stocks or selling bonds right now? Or would that be the wrong thing to do? Might not be the wrong thing to do. What you want to do is see if and how that fits inside your overall financial plan. So if you don't have a financial plan, this could be a call to action to go get yourself a plan. If you are looking for places to raise cash, take a look at cash flow. Where are you spending your money? Now this is critical, it's foundational. I know it's not fun to go back and look at 12 months of expenses, but go do that, categorize them, and see exactly where your cash is going. And in short order, you might be able to come up with that cash that you're looking for. Again, that, that safety blanket of three, four, five, even up to 12 months of living expenses will go a long way if we hit a recession. Peace if market, mind. Yeah. It's, it's the best. There's no really no if value. If you are of a mind, I think a lot of people who prune their portfolios at times like this, whether they're lightening up on bonds because bonds have gone up in value a great deal mm -hmm. uh, and, they're, and maybe they've gotten out of skew, um, they forget to look at the tax consequences often of the sales. So maybe it's best if you're doing your pruning to do the pruning in a tax deferred account like a 401k or an IRA. It also depends on where you are in life. So if you're able to tap liquidity from qualified or retirement accounts, then that's a place to go look so you don't realize capital gains on the sale of your assets. But if you're in pre-retirement mode or accumulation phase, you're going to want to be mindful of the gains that you have. Most people have a lot of gains if they've been investing over 10 years. But are there losses to count against those gains? Biggest thing people should not do? Panic. Panic. All right.